Hey, this is Anthony from Absolutely. You watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Cena 10U Pad Bluetooth communicator available at Rimzilla.com. This is the 10U Pad, part of the long line of Cena Bluetooth communication products. At a high level, let me explain this to you because Cena is the market leader in Bluetooth right now, and their line is deep and vast. So. 10U, it is a 10 series Bluetooth communicator and allowing you to listen to music, pair with your phone, use GPS and navigation, talk up to four riders full duplex, have an FM antenna, use the radio. Ultimately, for utility and entertainment, it integrates with your helmet. Now, the 10U pad takes that unit, which in typical fashion would either clamp mount or sticky mount, and what it does is it fully integrates it into a set of replacement cheek pads. Now, I will tell you right now at the time of shooting this, which is late 2017, as we will see this product launch into the 2018 riding season, IS-17 from HJC. We see the, the IS-MAX or the CYMAX 2 getting this configuration. We'll also see Shoei starting with the RF-1200 coming down the line. I wouldn't expect anything less from Cena than if we see other manufacturers starting to come up with an OE fit for this 10U pad working with Cena. Now, I will tell you that Cena is probably measuring the cheek pad, making sure it fits, and kind of doing their own thing. I don't believe these are officially licensed, but I could be wrong. But what you need to know is if you buy an IS-17 HJC helmet, whether it's a double extra small or a triple extra large, this cheek pad replaces the stock cheek pad, snaps it in the OE placements, fits within the neck roll, is fully integrated, and will fit the range. The only downside that we really see here is for those of you that buy a medium helmet and like to get bigger cheek pads, there's only one size of cheek pad. So if you're one of those fine tuners, you lose the ability to fine tune, but what you've done, the key benefits here, is you're allowing yourself to not have anything throwing the aerodynamic profile of this helmet off by either clamping to the side, hanging on the side, sticking to the back, everything from the microphone, to the battery, to the speakers, to the antenna, everything is integrated within the pad. And you'll see here on the left side, your non-throttle hand, you have your controls for on, off, forward, back, pair, all these things. It is app configurable as well. And you'll see, you swap these in, you connect them in the back. This helmet right here has these installed, you would never know it. And that's the beauty of the OE Fit. Now. We've talked about the streamline, the quick and easy in and out, the lack of running wires that you have to do here. The other benefit, if we look at the 10U pad, is this is not an original approach to solving the problem of where do the controls and where does the configuration go. In the past, we saw Cardo team up with Schubert to do the SRC system. Now, I will tell you, that was decently executed, but the SRC neck rolls got too thick and the buttons were hard to find. These are big, they're bulky enough without getting in the way, and they're easy to find with a glove hand. It's a very satisfying click as you work your way through the controls. Now, from a fitment standpoint, I already mentioned, when you're looking at the 10U pad, it's clearly going to have a list of compatible helmets from different manufacturers as they roll out. If your helmet model specifically is not listed, this will not fit. So make sure that you are ultimately at least paying attention to that data point when you're thinking about integrating or purchasing a 10U pad. Also being that it's electronic, remember once we send it to you and you open it, we can't take it back because there's no way to verify that it's complete and unused if you returned it so that we'd sell it to the next person. Again, you wouldn't want to get one that was slightly loved. You want one that's brand new and that's how we keep things consistent. I will also mention we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. So obviously these bad boys ship for free Free, and I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzel on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new 10U pad. Now, diving into the nuance, you can see this is a wicking, an antimicrobial inner liner, soft against the skin. It's using a mesh material, which is going to promote a little bit more breathability around the edges. You're really not stepping back here by way of quality of cheek pad or materials used. I mentioned this is for an IS-17. This would be the integrated fit. Notice the same connection points. And this piece that goes up that you'll never feel, never see, adds very little weight. This is the actual antenna. It's on the left side of the helmet. It goes up into the shell, again, extending you that range. Now, if we work our way to the bottom, we talked about all the buttons as well as the port for charging. This guy's going to come with a USB charger in the box so you can connect that and you can charge it without having to remove it. And if we work our way to the back side here, it's just one simple wire that tucks up underneath the, underneath the neck roll when you have it installed. I'll also talk about the speaker here. So whether or not your helmet has any cut 
cutout for the speaker, the fact that it's a smaller speaker is going to allow you to seamlessly integrate without feeling it. Now, I will tell you, it is slightly smaller. And one of the things we've loved about Cena in the last few years is that they've upped their speaker game, especially with the 20S. They're just better sounding speakers. I will tell you, from a volume standpoint and a sound clarity standpoint, even with this smaller speaker, we did not have any diminished results. So we felt that this was on par with what you'd expect from the 10U series or the 10. Remember, there is a 10U that integrates behind a cheek pad on certain helmets, and that's about $100 more. That comes with a remote control. You can always add the remote control to this later. That's about 100 bucks. This guy, though, standalone for all of this, comes in at around just under the $200 mark. So again, there's a bang for the buck factor. Now remember, if we think Bluetooth features and functionality, full duplex voice activated, noise canceling, the microphone is going to be integrated. It allows you to talk rider to rider, share music with your passenger, ultimately go forward and back on the songs, make phone calls, use the radio, tie in with your GPS system, and be up to four riders full duplex again for that intercom style communication. I also like the fact that Cena's done a great job and this is app configurable. So now you can use the app on your phone to pair up and you don't have to go through the button presses and sequences that we used to have to do in the dark ages of Bluetooth communicators, which were probably like two to four years ago, ultimately when it was a complete pain in the ass to compare these or to pair these things together. Now, that being said, if you want more information on the 10 series, you can watch some of our 10 series videos from Cena, but ultimately the range is up to a mile. The battery life is like 13 hours of talk and seven or eight days of standby. I mean, it's just tremendous. The next step in your journey though is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Read other rider reviews on the 10U pad or the 10 series from Cena to get a gauge on how this guy works in the field in longer distance riding scenarios from riders just like you. As always, we'll ship free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion. Ladies and greatest in the Moto Universe, I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.